So um, if we're looking at the limit as uh, this is the limit as x approaches 5 and of the function, because you can see, remember, it was f of x in there. Now we have a function, which is going to be x plus 1. And what is going to be that equal to? Well, we can look at this, this example. It's fairly simple. So we can look at it a couple different ways. Um, let's just kind of look at it graphically. And I think that's usually the easiest. x plus 1 has a y-intercept at 1. And then over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1. You guys see that? You guys agree with me? That's what that graph would look like, right? If you've been practicing graphing linear linear equations for a while. Okay. So what they're looking for is what is where what is the value of this function as x approaches five? Well, we go over to when x equals five, which is right here. We say what is the value of the function? Well, if we go up to this function, we know that the function is continuous at that point, right? There is a value. There is a value when x um, as x is well when x is equal to five. There is a value. So the, val the value of the function that the, that, the func um, that the function is when it's approaching x equals 5 is obviously going to be equal to 6, right? You can see that at, at 5, you can see from this portion, from the left, as I'm going up, it's smaller and smaller numbers, right? You can say, here is your f of x, right? And here's your x. f of x is changing out to be our y-axis. So as x is getting closer to 5, right? We start at 1, 2, 3. As we're getting closer to 5, this f of x value is approaching the number 6. Does everybody see that? OK. Um, and then you could also see, what if x, what if we were decreasing? What if we were going from x equals 7, 8, 9, 10? I'm sorry, <laughs> 8, 7, 6, 5. As it's going down, you could see that the f of x values are also going down, and they're approaching this value, 6. OK? So another way to look at it, but I want you guys to be very careful. I want to expose this to you so you guys can see it, so you get an understanding. But this is not always going to be the case. Uh, for your summer assignment, we talked about piecewise functions and evaluating them. right? When a function is continuous, meaning that there's no breaks or holes in the graph, then what we call direct substitution is going to produce you the limit. So we also just could have done f of 5 equals x plus 1. And that equals 5 plus 1, which equals 6. right? However, I am going to bring in a caveat, which again, I'll go over more notes again for you. But you probably want to write it down and put a nice little star to it. Direct substitution is, only, is going to work when the function is continuous. All right? Only when it's continuous. But we're going to be looking at some values when it's not going to be continuous that's going to make this a little bit more fun or lack thereof. <laughs>